Hello, and welcome to my video. So, in this video, I'll be throwing some mugs. So, as you can see here, I'm not in my home studio. Um, and if you watched my bowl video, you know where I am. I'm actually at college, Manchester Community College, and I'm going to be throwing some mugs. So, in this video, um, basically inside my class, the way it was formed out and set out was um, the teacher had us throw five bowls, five mugs, and then we had a bunch of other projects along those um, all along those projects, uh, and so throughout the year, we threw I threw well over five mugs, um, just because I've been doing throwing before, and this is a basic ceramics class. And so, as you can see here, I'm doing some um, more advanced mugs. I'm adding a lot of um, like a lot of texture, a lot of variations at the shapes of the mugs. I'm adding. Um, and it was very easy for me to throw cylinders too because um, for throwing mugs all you do is throw a cylinder and you, that's basically a mug right there um, you just have to attach a handle pull a handle um, but I wanted to obviously go more than that inside mine so as you can see here um, I'm just creating the basic uh, mug shape and I'm playing around with that and so um, I went with some dots and smoothed that out with a like, sponge never done that before I'm not even gonna lie never done that before it's a it's a cool cup um, I did end up destroying it later which I'll talk about why but um, it's the same process basically just center the clay cone up cone down and create your mug shape um, for this one i wanted to try something um, a little bit more advanced this one's actually um the technique came come from um his name is john the potter and he does this spiral that he does on his mug um, basically the spiral uh, starts at the bottom goes all the way to the top and the first time i did it i messed it up really bad um but the second time uh, I made it, managed to actually save it, um, and I, I just put my rib to the edge of the cup. Um, it did change the form of a little bit, but it was fine. Um, and then as you can see here, I've got the real-time video of me pulling the uh, spiral on the cup, and this is my first time doing this. Uh, sadly, <laughs> I also scrapped this one. Uh, I got really sidetracked. I got really ambitious with a, another project you'll see later. It was a historical project I had to do for this class, for ceramics class, and... Um, I, I just took put all my time into that class in, or in, in, into that project I mean instead of making mugs and because I already had my five mugs done um, but I I really did enjoy um, making these mugs it's just I didn't have that like too much time um, to finish them all um, but I still had five and, um, enough to pass the project so I like well well past the project so um, here's the two that I destroyed like I said uh, the reason I destroyed them is because they were way too dry basically you want to attach handles at the uh, stage of uh, leather hard or at the same stage of like if you, if you wanted to attach uh, right after you threw them you could um, it's just a bit, little bit harder to smooth out but for this one as like I said I got distracted with my other project and it, they dried out and I did not pay any attention to them I left them on the shelf for like I don't know a few weeks and they got really really dry and they got bone dry so I could not attach a handle to those um, so that's that, that kind of sucked but it is what it is. You lose some, um, so it's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, I can throw them again if I wanted to. Um, these mugs that I make here, though, uh, you can see, you just saw, um, I made a few cylinders. They're basic cylinders, very basic mug-shaped cylinders. Um, and they were, just, as you can see here, these three here. Um, and then what I did was, uh, on one of my other mugs, I wanted to go beyond. I wanted to add more texture, like I said earlier. Um, so I added a lot of um, carving and indentations and I don't really know what to call it, but I guess I, would, I just carved into the piece, basically, and I made this new mug, and so I made this handle, too, that was, like, a very, um, like, blocky handle, and it was not a normal, like, curved handle, um, it wasn't very elegant, it was, it was supposed to be, and purposefully, a very blocky shaped handle, and that was because it fit the, the texture, which you'll see later me doing, uh, but as you can see here, I just centered the piece back again after this is in the leather hard stage, which is basically after it's been wheel thrown, you let it dry out a little bit, and then I'm doing what I, what, what's called trimming, and so I'm just trimming and taking away the excess clay uh, on the bottom of the mug, and then making a foot, so then it can, um, it can, it, basically the foot is on the bottom of each piece of pottery, and then, oh yeah, and this is me adding some texture. Um, so to the mugs I was talking about earlier, um, I, I was really happy with these mugs, so I made three more, and I'm extremely happy with the, the textures. I just think it's a really cool, intriguing mug. I don't think everyone would like it. I think it'll look cooler on like a vase if, if I tried um, on a vase. I've never done that before, but I'm open to try it. Um, it does take a really long time. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm just carving away, and it, it took me a while to do each mug, um, which was time consuming, but I, it was really fun. Um, these actually have not been fired yet. As I'm talking, um, the 
show, the gallery piece for the My Ceramics class. Ceramics is over, but the show, the gallery, starts on Friday, um, this Friday. And basically, these mugs aren't going to be inside the show. I actually put two bowls, which I already made a video about, um, which you'll, you'll see later in my bowl video. But um, I put two bowls inside the gallery, so these mugs will not be inside the gallery. But um, the uh, these mugs have not been fired yet. And I only glazed one mug, um, which was the one you see here, which is bisque fired already. Uh, so it has to go through two firings, one which is a bisque fire and two which is the glazing. And so this is another, this is the spiral mug I made, I took a picture of it. And then these are the, the three mugs that you just saw me carve. Um, and these are just bone dry, they have not been fired yet. And then this is the final mug, um, the only mug I actually completely finished. Um, it's glazed and everything. I'm really happy with the way it looks and the way it came out. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my mug making process, and I will see you in the next one.